Hi, I'm Chris Morby. I've been in the meat industry over 40 years and I'm now a tutor at the School of Artisan Food. I'm sure you're all able to cook pork at home. What I'm going to show you are tips and techniques that will allow you to take your cooking skills to the next level. I'm going to show you how to roll a leg of pork. This joint that I'm using is the silver side muscle. It's the muscle on the outside of the leg. Ask your butcher to bone out the leg so that what you're left with is deboned muscle and all you need to do then is to take it home and roll it. First thing we need to do is we need to trim it. I've trimmed off some of the fat and, and, and skin from the inside. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to take off some of the fat that sits directly on the rind. Trying very hard not to pierce the actual rind um, whilst doing it. So it's just removing some of the, the surface fat. What you will see is that when the leg was boned out, it left us with not just the, the silver side muscle, but a number of different muscles. If you try and cook this flat, those muscles will move in, in different directions and they will shrink and you'll lose a lot of moisture. The purpose of rolling is to tighten those muscles together. So what you're left with is you're left with muscles that are nice and compact. You can cook this joint evenly because it's, it's the same shape and it also makes it easy for carving. So the last thing I'm going to do before scoring is just to straighten this edge up and now we'll turn it over so the rind is on the top and we now start to score. We score the skin to open up the rind and we cut onto the fat but not into the flesh. This helps us to make lovely crisp crackling. The best knife to use would be a craft knife. Anything that's got a, a fine blade, a fine tip to it, it's, it's, it's important not to pierce into the lean, otherwise uh, you end up with too much moisture coming out when you cook. So we're scoring all the way along. Now we turn it round to score the other side of the rind, starting from the middle. Try and keep these evenly spaced. So now the leg of pork is, is fully scored. What we're going to do is we're going to shape that rind underneath so we get a nice covering of rind all around the joint. Taking our string, we move it along the leg into the middle. That's a butcher's knot. However, any knot will do as long as it's, it's nice and tight. And we pull that in so we've got the the first one in the middle. Now we need to go to one end. What I'm doing is I'm going from the centre to the ends and then halfway and halfway again so that we get even pressure on that on that joint um, and we don't have the muscles uh, all irregular shaped and, and they're nice and neatly packed together. And there we have it our rolled leg of pork, ready now for roasting. 